Hey y'all, welcome to Chris and Dumb. This is uh, Seth. I'm doing my book report um, over Monte U. And um, so we're going to jump right into it. The mental outlook of the people and worldview of the people in this area um, was very family based. Um, it was made up of three different groups nobility, peasants, and clergy. So this wasn't the regular class ideas that you would think of though because they were all in similar situations between finances um, it was a rural area um, small 200-250 people um, a lot of it was the same families um, and so like I said nobility and peasants especially um, were alike and then the priest, there was only really one of them, Pierre, he was close to the same boat as um, everyone else also. Um, and like I was talking about, it was a family-based society. Um, and this family, though, didn't really stop at blood, though. It was like, it was this domus idea. And that means like, um, like, so... It would be the people living under one roof. So, um, like, you're, you would have servants included within that sometimes. Um, and so then you had the heresy of Catharism. And Catharism was spread uh, from Doma to Doma. Um, and on another note, too, um, shepherds were the ones that would really spread these ideas um, from because they would travel and stuff. And so they would kind of become like teachers. Um, uh, so to sp spreading these Cathar ideas. Um, these heretical, her heretical ideas were actually emerging of rural religion, which included many old ideas of paganism and ideas of the Catholic faith. So it was just merging these two um, ideas. Um, Catharism had uh, the idea that there was two gods, one was good, one was evil. Um, and the priest named Pierre was a heretic and practiced Catharism too, of course, living in this area. Um, he was known to have several affairs and used his power for his own benefit and power. Um, so, when referring to gossip about sleeping with a married woman, that he was committing um, sin, en enormous sin for acts with, he replied in page 157 from the book, um, Not at all, answered the priest. One woman's like another. The sin is the same, whether she is married or not, which is as much as to say that there is no sin about it at all. So, yeah, obviously the man was um, pretty messed up in his ideas and it wasn't really a Christian um, outlook on uh, life. So, um, in Monte U, a man would publicly keep a concubine, uh, which was no big deal. Marriage was difficult. So, um, in fact, fornication was not considered sin if both parties took uh, pleasure in it. Because, like in um, on page one seventy one, it says um, in the matter of morals by virtue of the famous maxim. Since everything is forbidding, everything is allowed. So, um, like, pretty much since, like, everything, or just like it says, um, sex was seen kind of, like, all bad, even within, like, marriage and stuff. And so, this being the case, like, it was all bad bad so um why like it wasn't considered so therefore like 
having or like whether whether it was it or it was all evil so like doing it inside and and outside of marriage it was bad so it was all acceptable too because um you couldn't really like have one or the other because they, it was all considered bad so it wasn't considered sinful really kind of confusing but once you wrap your head around it you can kind of understand it i guess um obviously these um heretical ideas were not in line with the christian faith um and as far as women were concerned like a lot of them were abused and beaten by their husbands um it was when it came to death and souls um, when the priest with heretical ideas spoke to a mother who had lost four children um, he actually like told her that they would like re-enter the um, the the body of her next pregnancy when she got pregnant again those like their their souls and spirit and stuff would enter them so um like that's definitely not in line with um the christian faith or the catholic uh religion of that time or uh, and theology um so it was like really heretical and it was just a mixing up of a bunch of just nonsense um in fact what they could observe and feel good about was basically how they lived their life. It was completely, it was complete heresy. So, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully it was good. Y'all have a good day. Don't catch Corona. And we're almost done with this class. So good luck, y'all.